Hi, I'm Susie, and recently I learned of a new product by Light Elegance called Buttercream. Who doesn't want to know what Buttercream does? I'm going to show you. Let's get started. So when I was in Vegas, buttercream was something I was looking into because I saw it in a magazine or something and I really wanted to know what this buttercream was all about. So I saw the booth, I talked to the owners, and they gave me these packages. They've released two collections. One is the Butter Basics, and the other one is the Debut Collection. So why I was interested in this product in particular is because they claim it is super, super thin. And that's important when applying gel because gel can get a little thick sometimes, especially when you want it to be a cream and you want it to be solid in its pigment. This stuff is really highly pigmented. So I spoke to them and they show me how to apply it and that's what I'm going to do today. Through Light Elegance, Selena Ryden works with them and they've released this beautiful, this caught my eye right away. This is her brush collection they designed for her. So I'm really glad to have these. Let's see what's in here. I love this little cylinder. This what caught my eye. This is cute. Okay, glasses time. Okay, so what she's got here is a container full of brushes and a container to hold it in, which is great. And she's got a list of brushes we can use for design. So because this is such a pigmented gel, it's great to do designs with. And that's what we're gonna do. So she's got several brushes that do several different things. Okay, awesome. Now the brush is so important when you're applying gels. And this has to go on super thin, these gels, so you want a really nice brush to be able to get there. This is beautiful. I like this. Now it's all about color, of course. That's what this business is. So I'm sort of looking at these boxes. Which color will I start with? Well, I did play with it a little, and I've got the mauve, or mauve in some places, on this hand. So I think I'm gonna put this beautiful green color on, but let's take a look at them. I think we'll get into that one too. Okay, so like I say, I did open up the mauve one. It is called, I love their names, Butter Me Up. That's the mauve one. Look at that, it's just beautiful. Let's see, I'm gonna use this one today. Now they do seal them with this silver package which is really good because gel can get everywhere. So just take a pair of nippers. So there we go. I'm gonna put the lid on this one too. We're not gonna use this one right now. Although we should use an accent color. We'll figure that out as we go. So what I have learned, if you are going to put this on natural nails, you do wanna put a layer of gel that is not a tacky surface. So you want a no wipe. You want something that is completely dry, cured to touch, before you apply this stuff. You wanna put this on a very smooth surface. As it is now, the other gel polishes that we put on, they're a little bit rough. You don't wanna do that with this. Because it is so thin and very strongly pigmented, we can put it on really thin. Thin shows every little bump under there. So you wanna make sure it is a very smooth surface. And to guarantee that, do a thin layer of a gel coat that is a top coat with a no wipe. So no tacky service, okay? If you stir it a little bit, it can make it a little bit more thinner, a little more pliable. You know, I'm gonna use Selena Ryden's signature case. I'm gonna use it as a brace because this is so delicate, I don't wanna move. So give it a bit of a stir to get your brush sort of, you know, kind of got the product in there. And then you don't need much. This stuff goes a long way. Okay, because it's a gel, you can paint it on and it'll self-level together. It's not like a polish where you gotta make sure you do like even smooth strokes with polish. This is a little bit more forgiving. So I sort of start back here a little bit and then as it gets closer to the cuticle, I can go a bit thinner, which is nice because it doesn't make it thick. It's a really nice brush. I really like the brush. And you know, let's face it, it's all about the brush too. Okay, this is a really long nail and I had very, very little on my brush. And yet, it is covering the whole nail. And because it's a gel, unlike a polish, you can take all the time you want. There's no rush. So we can just grab a little bit more of 
I want. Wow. Yeah, I think it matches my sweater. <laughs> that is gorgeous. And it is really thin. The advantage of having it thin is you can do designs with it. And also, too, sometimes I'll do like a coffin. And when I do a coffin, sometimes I'll put a gel on top. And it doesn't look as coffiny as when I started after I filed it. Because I put the gel on, I gotta put the, sometimes a base coat, then I gotta put two colors of gel on, then I gotta put a top coat. And it gets a little thick around the end of it and I kinda lose my coffin sharpness, you know? That bugs me sometimes. This is an advantage because it's very, very thin. So you can really keep your sharp corners on a coffin. If you're nail tech, you'll know what I mean on that. And if you're a really, really keen client, you know, you're really tuned into that kind of stuff. You'll know what I mean. You know, you know, your coffin's not quite as sharp. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to clean my brush because I'm going to do an accent color. I don't think I can help myself. I have to see what some of the other colors look like. So I'm just going to clean that so it doesn't get in our way. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this one. This is, let's try this one, Your Churn. I love nudes, and I think it is a very nice complimentary color to this one. I don't want to hit that pinky. I haven't nuked it yet. Got to take off the little lid. I'm glad they have these. They're a pain to take off, but I'm really glad they put that on because sometimes gel just has a way of finding itself out of there without these little protective layers on. Now, usually I just throw it away, but you see all that stuck to the lid? I don't want to waste that. That goes a long way with this stuff. Okay. I'm not going to throw that behind me. <laughs> if I do, it'll get stuck in my hair, I'm sure. Okay, that is gorgeous. Look at that. I love that. They do have instructions for those of you who do take the time to read them properly. They do have instructions. If you take this out of the little box with all the colors in it, the instructions are right on the bottom of the box. That's really smart. So it tells you the curing times with an LED and a UV. It's 30 seconds for an LED and, and two minutes for a UV. And it just tells you how to prepare the nail and such. If you're doing it for natural nails, make sure you do put your base coat down. And when you're doing the acrylic or gel, this can go on top of anything. Make sure that you do put that layer of your non-tacky top coat. So, oh, I'm gonna bring this back in. Okay. I'm going to paint my accent nail because a lot of times if I think of an accent nail, I want to do it, but I get carried away with the color and then I forget. So that's why I'm bringing this into it right away. So if you stir it a little bit, it does seem to get a little bit more thinner. Maybe that's just kind of working it in a little. Okay. Oh. Oh, I could not love a color more than this. Is beautiful. This would be great for painting designs. It goes on so thin. You know, I think I might just take a little moment and paint a design on this today too. I might dig into the other package. The other package has uh, black and white and silver and gold, I notice. A couple of other colors. So if you mess up at all and you hit the cuticle like I might have did a little bit there, just take it off. Okay, so now I have to clean this brush again because I really, really got to finish the green. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paint up the green, finish this up, and then I think we should do a design. This stuff is very inspiring to do a design with. Wow, it is thin. At first I thought, eh, okay, so what, it's thin. <laughs> but now as I'm using it, I can really see a lot of advantages with art. This will just make it much more intricate if you wanna do really intricate designs. And I can't wait to check out these brushes with that as well. So when I was in Vegas, I, had, I was on the hunt for a lot of different products and this was one of them and I just want to clarify that Light Elegance or any company when I do a review on a product this is my honest opinion they're not paying me for my opinion or any of that nonsense this is my honest opinion that's why I played around with it this weekend I spent all day here yesterday shop was closed it was great 
than I just played. I've never met this company before, so they're totally new to me. What drew me to them, honestly, I have to say, is that buttercream name. That made me go, what is buttercream? I have to know. Okay, so now we're gonna do the thumb. Wow, it just glides. It just glides on. I really like it. It's really highly pigmented. I bet you could do dots with this really good. Sometimes, when I was doing little dots with my dotting tool, I wouldn't use nail polish. It just does not give you a good enough solid dot. So, I started using acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is fine and works great, but it, you'd had to wait for it to dry and such. And sometimes it would dry as you're working with it, so you have to redo your little dot. You wouldn't have that problem with this stuff. Besides, acrylic paint is not made for nails, is it? This is made for nails. Okay, let's give it a nuke. So it's 30 seconds with an LED, and two minutes with a UV. I could almost get away with not doing it, but I'm going to just do a second coat, just to make sure that there's no transparency. So I just want to show you how thin this is. See if the camera can get this. If you look down the barrel of that nail, you can see that it is really, it's almost like I sprayed it on. That is thin. Okay, I'm just gonna do the nude. Then we're gonna break out the black and the white and the gold. Oh, that is just scrumptious. Okay. 30 seconds LED, two minutes UV. So when you're doing designs, you're really only as good as your brushes. And Selena Ryden, I understand, is a very good artist. So she's designed great brushes. So we want to do some lines. So your shorty brush is your best buddy when it comes to small details. And then your swirly makes swirls, which I think I'm going to do. And your stripey is for long stripes. So that's good, because I think I'm going to do that too. So I'm going to make some long lines, and that is the stripey. doing but I'll just wing it okay so I'm gonna get this all wet inside the black just get it all ready you don't want it too much on your brush but you definitely want your brush saturated with it I'm gonna draw two lines kind of coming together like a French style almost with a V but I'm gonna put a dot in the very center so I know where I'm coming to this is the striping tool that draws long, thin lines effortlessly. Now this one's for swirly, so I'm just going to use this brush for doing my swirls. shorty brush and little tiny dots you can use a dotting tool but this one's really really tiny depending on your dotting tool you might not be able to get your little dots quite so tiny as this this is really tiny good thing I don't drink coffee I'll make sure I get them super tiny it's like the tip of a pin tiny I'll just do one in the center and just walk some up the side very delicate. I'm just going to give this a quick nuke. 
so I don't mess it up. I can just see myself hitting it. So I'm not sure what color to do. You know, I'm just, let's test them all. Let's just test them. I'm gonna do a stripe of the white. And let's do a stripe of the gold. That's not bad. I didn't think it would show up very well on that uh, nudie taupey color, but it does. Again, that's because of the strong pigment. And then there's silver. Well, I think the white really does show up, obviously. And the silver, I don't think really goes with this kind of whole pattern. The gold goes more with it. Maybe let's do white with a little bit of gold. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Okay. I just wanna do this one. I'm gonna do the rest of them black, but this one I'm just gonna do like a different color because it's an accent now. So let's try the white first. Let's do my dot down the center. And then I'm gonna draw it to that. So let's maybe try, I'm gonna do a white stripe. Right down the center. And then let's do the gold around it. And then white dots. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the gold as much because it really is going to be just a oh you can wow i really didn't think you'd see the gold that much just because usually glittered stuff doesn't show up really pigmented because glitter kind of broken up in it right wow actually looks really good Now, if you don't want to bump the white, you should nuke it in between. If you're doing this kind of design. So I'll just make sure I really do not bump into that white stripe. I don't want to mess that up. Get pretty close there sometimes. That's kind of pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my white dots. I'm just going to finish all the other fingers in black and then we'll do the reveals. If I had a choice, I would prefer to do my swirls with a calligraphy pen and ink. This is a little stiffer, you don't get quite as much flow, but this works. It works quite nicely. So I just need to give it a 30 second cure for all of the nails before I put a top coat on. Reveal pictures. Thank you for joining me while I play with my new buttercream. I'll see you guys in the next video.